What up, what up, guys? 55 underscore guys for today's October the 11th, 2020, which would have marked the end of the convention last night. This would have been given to all the attendees, the T1 V-Dub panel. Even if you, once you got a ticket, they would have given it to would have given it to you for free without even paying. I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing yesterday I did on my YouTube channel. Now, today we're talking about this other thing besides this, my second favorite casting besides the 55 Gaster, which you guys already know what it is, the 83 Silverado. But technically, it's not this one, the lifted one, because it is an 83 Silverado, but we're talking about the 83 Silverado. It has to be the drop one, so this is not it. And get myself all situated here, which I hope it does work. All right. All right, guys, talking about the 83 Silverado, we're going to go through the timeline, the origins. Now, you guys probably already know, but thanks to Juno Mai himself, the creator of the 510 Wang, he created this series in 2007. Modern classics, that's right. He Not only did he made a JDM stuff, he also made American cars. This was metal base, metal body. Thanks to my friend Snake's Diecast 2 out there on Instagram and YouTube. Check him out. He sold it to me last year. I love this piece. Funny story about this one, there's an antifreeze color. We were just talking about it in the Hot Wheels gathering on Friday. There's an antifreeze color that was supposed to be in the second wave of the modern classics, but I never made it. And I guess the line got canceled or something like that. And only Juno Mai himself has one. People always keep asking him for it, to buy it off of him for a lot of money, but he says no. And um, what's it called? I think there's another collector who has a loose one that also wants a lot of money for it. So that's a little funny story. And that's 2007, Modern Classics. And around that time, it was also on the RLC, the big dog right there. I like that beautiful paint, man. It's always on my wall. I'll never crack that one. And of course, those two are about the same year, you know, 2007. But, uh, and then, well, I don't know, is this, is it going to the right timeline? I think it is, right? This was a Walmart exclusive Valentine's Day metal base, metal body. No rubber wheels, plastic wheels, but it's still cool. This is like for a little Walmart, you know, uh, Valentine's set pretty cool and then uh what's it called and then there was this one in 2008 or 9 slick rides which i like in metal base metal body rubber wheels i love these like mag style wheels thanks to my friend hws underscore lbce at long beach check him out he's starting over his channel again i guess instagram did him wrong but he's starting over again go give him a follow this one's a favorite one from mine um besides the modern classic and uh rlc of course but that one's getting kind of hard to find out too. Uh, you know, more obscure since that's 2008-9. And in 2011, there's one called the Hot Ones. I think this is a t Target exclusive, but not true. Metal base, metal body. Uh, also plastic wheels. I wasn't too big fan of this one. Also thanks to my boy, HWS underscore LBCE at a Long Beach. But uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's got that vintage look to it. And what's it called? So I'm just going through the whole little series of the Silverados right here, guys. The origins, I guess you would say. Man, can't believe it. Anyways, I guess we're gonna use the rest without the <laughs> freaking stand. And then fast forwarding forward to 2014, Cake Case. This is a super treasure hunt. From Kate Case, it's also now that's becoming the Legends Tour for next year. Same body, um, same color. Just they reverse, they reverse the color to like a pink. Same real riders with the same five spoke wheels. And I mean, it's pretty cool. I love it. So that's you guys already know that 2021 Legend Tour. Uh, then I guess from there it gets kind of tricky, but I think it goes from the shop trucks. This one 2018 Borla. You can see over here. Here's the date where I could point my finger at. My fat ass finger. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Right here. 2017 to 2018. And that's pretty cool. Metal base, metal body. Real riders. Truck shops 2018. Put that there. And I think it goes to this series. I think it was a Walmart truck series too. All trucks, metal base, metal body. I think this is the same base code they're using. Or, yeah, the base. 
they're using for that uh, Legends tour, I believe. And this one's pretty cool. Plastic wheels, metal body, pretty heavy. Nice, not bad. And then in 2018, two years ago, it was a convention or a nationals. And it's nice, this one from Texas. This one thanks to my friend Manny from Playdays Collectibles. You can see on the tailgate. It says 18 annual Hot Wheels convention, Collectors National, Dallas, Texas, April 4th through the 8th, 2018. Nice. A lot of paint. Look at the thing right there on the hood. Painted grill, the headlights, taillights. Well, of course, it's a convention piece. Even license plate says Dallas 18, metal base, rubber wheels, metal body. And this one will put it right here. Not bad. I gave up on the damn... <laughs> phone holder because it just keeps falling over so and that same year in 2018 it was also in this one it was a 50th annual um uh 50 50 annual or around 50 years uh display pretty cool shout out to don mopar don over there on instagram he has a whole bunch of these that's his favorite one this has a metal base actually it almost looks like the dallas national it's not like it has the same painted grill headlights tail lights so wow maybe it is the same it has a significant weight to it so there you go guys just a little uh you know what to call it a little uh showcasing the 83 silverado what do you guys think the origins i'm gonna call it my second favorite casting from hot wheels of course besides the 55 gasser which i was born in 83 so i guess that's why i'm a big fan of this casting <laughs> and this one will be next year's uh 2021 uh legends tour of course you guys already know that reverse paint same temples, but a different color, like a pink, I think it looks. Spectre Flame, no TH, same real riders, and same chrome lips. If I spoke wheels, so that's cool to look forward to. Of course, you would have thought, I, I kind of predicted it. I did it a while back on my YouTube. I guess Mattel maybe is listening, or did they just know what the collectors want to buy? Anyways, guys, 55 underscore guesser. What do you guys think of this little display today? You know, this little presentation. Uh, I, That's the only silver rattles I got, believe it or not. Besides the RLC uh my favorite one be besides the rlc has to be the modern classic thanks to juno mai for creating that beautiful piece and second i guess from the not well it's getting up there now it's probably the edelbrock i like that one a lot of metal base rubber wheels and metal body uh would be a third besides the rlc eh, of course the super 2014 k case i have two other ones carded those are going up for 150 180 now on ebay and i guess if Fifth one will have to be the Dallas. That's pretty cool. And it is a you know convention piece. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys like this little uh presentation by your one yours truly, 55 underscore gas. Hopefully give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and what do you guys think? October 11, 2020. We'll have to wait till next year, 2021. Hopefully it'll be way better than this year. And uh Hopefully there's more, uh, there's a, there will be a convention next year, I hope. God willing, hopefully things get better for everyone. Financially and, you know, emotionally and mentally too, because this thing is taking a toll on everyone. But I don't want to get too politics or too much into it. And there you go, guys. 55 underscore guesser. If you have one sick by the whole, you know, virus, my prayers go out to your family. If you lost someone, my prayers go out to your family. But anyways, like I said, I don't want to get too much into it. And there you go. I'm leaving you with this. Hope you guys like it. Enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you guys think? You guys have more Silverados? Uh, and I'll leave you with this outro right here. The big dog right there. I love it. 83 Silverado. Thanks to uh, Jeremy out of Arizona. 182 Hot Wheels. I haven't seen him anymore in a while on Instagram. So I don't know. Hope he's all right. Thanks to him for that trade last year. And I'll catch you guys later. It's, uh, what's it called? October 11, 2020. Spot. Well, <laughs> I was going to say that, but no. On the showcasing of the 83 Silverado and its origins. Peace. Have a good rest of your Sunday and weekend. Deuces.